What's up guys, welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. In today's video, we are shooting the Yeet Cannon High Point Gun. And I made a short video on this and everybody in the comments, after 1 million views, everybody in the comments was like, it's the jam cannon, it's gonna jam on you. Don't rely on this with your life. It's a bad gun for only 200 bucks. Now I wanna see today, I'm gonna test it. How reliable is a $200 gun? A high point, that is. So, in today's video, that is what we are doing. I want to see if this gun actually will jam as I'm shooting it. Now, I want to preface this with, I've shot this gun before. I've put two mags through this gun, and I got to tell, tell you, not once has it jammed on me. No malfunctions, no misfeeds, nothing like that. So, I am now going to film it and show you guys. Like, literally, I'm not going to cut this at all. Okay, this is giving me some trouble. Okay, was that already 10 magazines? Oh yeah, 10 rounds, not 10 magazines. But this right here, <laughs> again, this is not what you would set up your Yeet Cannon, right? But because it's a Yeet Cannon, we got the EOTech Optic with a green reticle, and we have the next torch, WL13. Here it is, first shots, well, first shots today through the Yeet Cannon. All right, here we go. Let's see if it jams or malfunctions. Oh. Did you see that? As you saw there, the optic just flew in my face. So that's that's great. Thank you, High Point. All right, here we go. Well, let me tell you, I can't even shoot the steel from here. So there you go. That was one magazine. Ow. Dude, I hit my lip. <laughs> uh, yeah, that actually kind of hurt. So let's, uh, this is the YC9, just so you guys know, they did send this out to me to put on the channel, to make videos with, to make content with. Uh, so I'm not being paid by them to make this video, like most people in the comments said in that short video. They're like, oh, he's being paid to promote it. No, nobody would be this excited. Why wouldn't you be excited? This is a freaking high point. Why wouldn't you? It's the Yeet Cannon. Ow, that hurt. All right, here we go. I'm actually trying to get a, a, a shot here, but it just won't, it won't let me. All right, let's get closer. Maybe I'm just really bad. I'm not Pew View, you know? All right, here we go. Wow. What the heck? This is how close we are. Look at this. We're probably a good 10 yards away. This is not much at all. What? <laughs> Okay, apparently I have to aim really, really low. So that's the second mag, literally. Second mag, no malfunctions, no misfeeds. Like I said, I'm not gonna cut any of this. This is all straight. Probably was one take, because why not? All right, here we go, we're almost done. Um, I think the inner part of my lip is bleeding. I can feel, or I can taste it. So thanks a lot, Yeet Cannon. Oh, because it's a yeet cannon, we should probably just yeet it. If it doesn't work, just yeet it at the steel cannon, yeah? All right, here we go. One more magazine. This time we'll get really close because apparently I can't shoot with this thing. <laughs> Look at that beast. That is a beast of a gun right there. Look at that. Is it breaking my light or is that just angled? That's crazy. I don't know. All right, here we go. All right, so now I'm having to aim a little lower. That's how I'm now getting these shots. But as you saw there, no malfunction, no misfeed. Let's go one more, one more. Now, a lot of people were saying, and maybe, you know, maybe they're right, but you wouldn't rely on this pistol to save your life. You know, I maybe would say, you wouldn't rely on the pistol that malfunctions or misfeeds on you when the time that you need it. So far, we've had zero of those things happen with the Yeet Cannon. So really, I mean, maybe you could rely on this pistol. I'm not saying you should, but I'm just saying, if this was your only option in a setting where you would need to rely on it to save your life for the time being, not, I'm not saying like for a long time, but maybe it could work, right? 
So here we go. <laughs> it even, everything that it does just does it slow and like kind of like, you know, a molasses, like a sloth, just kind of funny. All right, here we go. No misfeeds, no malfunctions. Uh, okay, since it's a yeet cannon, let's uh, let's yeet it. Here we go, ready? Aw, oh, dang it, it's in the grass now. I was trying to hit this guy. I hope there's not a snake in here. Hold on. It's in, oh, there it is. But I just found like a body, that'd be crazy. All right, here we go, ready? Now for $200, you would expect this to actually malfunction and it hasn't. Let's do one more mag, one more. I'm actually rather impressed. The Yeet Cannon, the only thing that I don't like is that the optic flew out, the freaking EOTech hit me in the face and actually, look at this. It broke the rail off. <laughs> That's what, look at this, it broke the rail off. So that's great. All right, one more. One more magazine. And this is literally shutting the haters up. Like, I'm not saying I would run this like to save my life, but if it was, if I needed it and it's in, in a pinch, I mean, yeah, I, it actually might work. All right. You know, I, there's supposed to be 10 rounds in here, but I just don't think there's a full 10 in here. Or at least it doesn't really fit. All right, here we go. Watch just how molasses this thing is to get into, uh, <laughs> into firing mode here. Ready? All right, actually, let me do this. Watch. It's just like, <laughs> all right, here we go. Just a mag dump. No malfunctions, no misfeeds. I don't really know what people are talking about. As you saw there, we did what, three, four, almost five mags. I yeeted that thing into a steel target. Oh, this is kind of moving. The light's kind of moving on me, maybe, but that's maybe because I chucked it out of freaking steel. So other than that, would you be running something like this? A $200 gun, can it save your life? Can you rely on it? Well, from this test, as you saw, Again, no cuts, no edits, literally no malfunctions, no misfeeds. I feel like you could say a true maybe. Now, I might just have like one of the unique ones. Same thing happened with Olight, like that red dot optic held its own, it, hit, it stayed zeroed, did not move, it did not break, and I ran it over with my truck. I pounded it on some, uh, you know, a table. Same thing with here, maybe. Maybe I got the really good one off the line, but even then, it still works. Now, you know, I still had to aim lower, you know, to really get on the steel, but maybe that was just a user error. So what do you guys think? Would you still run the Yeet Cannon High Point Firearm? Please comment down below. And also please make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video if you haven't. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. Yeet!